Welcome back to the sunny, tropical island paradise of Phuket. Okay, so maybe at the moment it's not so sunny. This week Phuket has faced the worst weather it's seen in the last 50 years. We're talking collapsing cliffside roads, Phuket town completely immersed in water and non-stop. And when I say non-stop, I mean non-stop downpours. But today I wanna to inject a little bit of color back into Phuket town with some awesome, authentic Thai food. Let's go. Wow, that looks incredible. Okay. Okay. So we've got drumsticks. Gang som. So we've got sour fish curry. So green curry. So we've got a uh, liver curry with chili. Oh, the sort of southern fish belly. Uh, so I might. I can't actually get over how good this looks. Right, so we're going to grab some of this tapnir, beef liver, chilies, onions. So I pick gang, man. That's it. Say it, huh? Say pick power. Say pick power. Chili paste on this bad boy. Uh, so she's making me the cow yum. Cow is rice. Yum is salad. Anima pao, come here. So salted, dried fish. Mixed veg and herbs. Budu there. Alright, so this is the south version of Bala. Some chili, guys. Cup. Okay. We got some tetali. Malay.
ขอบคุณครับสิกเนเจอร์ขอบคุณครับ All right, guys. So we have got an absolute feast for you. I told you I was going to take you down and brighten up your rainy day in Phuket. In Phuket town, we're Arun Restaurant. So unfortunately, Bung Arun, Uncle Arun, is actually sick today. So we're going to all get together and wish him well. Hopefully, he makes a speedy recovery. In his absence, I'm going to do him proud. So I think first, what we'll try, we're going to try the Geng Masaman, which is the beef. Masaman, masaman n u a I'm gonna try a little bit of this green pandan roti. It's so thick, so rich. You've got that oil separation on the top. Mm. All right. So you might remember. You might remember me and Shai. We did a little video at the Muslim restaurant in Bangrak in Bangkok, and the masaman was ridiculously sweet, and we couldn't actually eat it. This is a different ball game. Heavily, heavily spiced. Really, really, really heavy on the nutmeg. Quite tart and sour from t a m a r i n d juice. The beef could be a little more tender. But as Rick Stein used to say, that is why God gave you teeth so you could chew. It's not uncomfortably tough. Yeah, heavy on the nutmeg, heavy on the cardamom, thick, rich, oily. And as you'd expect from a Muslim restaurant of this quality, perfectly, perfectly spiced. I love the crispy, bubbly, green roti. I can't really taste much pandan if I'm honest, but it's just a perfectly crispy, crunchy, flaky, salty roti. On to the other signature dish, the soup n u a So we got some chunks on the bone. Oh, look at that! I might be sucking that marrow out in a little bit. Ah. Oh. Okay, so we got spring onions. We got Chinese celery, tomatoes, onions. Very, very, very sour soup. Heavy, beefy flavour, as you'd expect from uh, beef on the bone here. Oh, mate, that's peeled straight off the bone. Mm, that's so flavourful, as you'd expect. And suck out a bit of that marrow. Mm. That is incredible. Heavy on the cloves. Yeah, heavy on the cloves. But the beefy flavour you're getting from the marrow, where they've strewed that down, you got that oil along the top. Absolutely delicious. Sorry, t r y but I'm gonna have to put these chilies in, mate. <laughs> All right, let's try it with the chilies in. Sour, spicy, salty. I really want to eat that other piece of beef, but I'm gonna save it for t r y This is pretty incredible stuff. I did another video at a roti place around the corner, but this one for me is so so much better. We'll try the tap tap n e r which is the beef uh, in the pig p a o stir fried chilies, okra. You've got that irony richness, but it's not overpowering. Whole cloves of stir fried garlic. I was expecting this to be super sweet because of the pig p a o but it's not sweet at all. Very very savoury, very oily. Could do with this with a bit of rice, really. Um, but no, absolutely perfect. You've got that earthy, earthy. Goodness coming from that okra. When okra is cooked right, absolutely delicious. All right, second from last signature dish, k a o m o k Again, perfectly spiced. I'm using the same adjectives over and over because every dish kind of has the same characteristics. The rice is cooked perfectly, spiced perfectly. You've got the crunchy added texture 
and flavour from those onions. The chicken's taken on all the flavour from those spices, the turmeric, the coriander, the cumin. Being pressed, it's a tad dry. It's not like, again, like the beef, it isn't horribly dry, but I'm just not really into sort of stewed breast. But again, use the error because I could have quite easily asked for a leg. And last, but certainly not least, we've got probably the most unique dish here, the cow yum. So we've got dried fish, as I said, toasted, um, mapao, coconut, bean sprouts, some blanch veg, lime. So we're just gonna get that on, that salted fish and everything. Pour on the chilies. A little bit of this budu, which is a fermented southern fish paste. It's quite sweet. Uh, a little bit funky. I'm not sure Chai's ever tried this. Let's give it a mix up. And we're going to try and get a little bit of everything here, guys. There's so much going on here. Flavour-wise, texture-wise. The funkiness, the funky, salty, slightly sweet, budu, fermented fish paste. That dry, sort of almost desiccated coconut. Um, giving a nice toasty flavour to the dish. I love the salted, uh, dried kua fish. Very, very good. Again, quite funky, quite salty. You've got the chilies fresh and everything up. And those lovely vegetables, which have pak pel, the laksa herb or soapy herb that I call it. Very sour. Mm. This is a, uh, what can I say? This is incredible. All right, so this is the governor here, but he's sick today. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to put my picture on the wall. Because uh, I do actually have a picture with the big man. Well, look, Nikki Feeding Souls, YouTube. I've actually got a picture with me and Paddy and the big man. So I'm going to send it over to them. Hopefully they can uh, stick it up for me. All right, my man. Mate. Thanks for coming back. Well, thanks for having me. Because the, the last Muslim restaurant I took you to, you couldn't, we couldn't eat the masa mum, could we? Because it was too sweet. It was too sweet. It was way too sweet. Delicious still, but... Yeah. And I think we didn't really get to chat on the last video, did we? Because wow. I was talking too much. So, and, uh, and, uh, and still now, I think you're... you're <laughs> oh, no, no. So how's Phuket? Phuket has been amazing and to be really honest with you I'm so glad to have you or to, to be here uh, with you because always we meet in Bangkok yeah. your hometown really now mm. so um, yeah it's good but it's been very very rainy and um, mate and uh, the place where we meet in Phuket old town where there's this amazing architecture mm. um, I don't think there's a better place to meet here in this roti place it's Oh, it's the best, isn't it? I'd love to show you some more of Phuket Town, but I can't because it's basically underwater. But it's just the most amazing place to walk around, right? Yes. So many different places. Not only the restaurants, but the small little boutique hotels. You've got mm. the, um, the streets with um, the colourful houses. Amazing. What? Well, anyway, I'm, I'm glad to, uh, to be here in Old Town because I'm not really a beach person myself. Mm, it is raining, these weather conditions. It only makes perfect sense to uh, to me here. So what, what have you been doing while you're here? What what, 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 what sort of videos have you been hey, doing? Hey, so uh, I've done a few videos with, uh, including the rain, mate. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, like, like I'm doing a lot of street interviews, right? You know? Yeah, yeah. So just people on the street seeing what they are up to, if it's still enjoyable. And it turns out that rain or no rain, Phuket is still the place to be. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Masamam good? Masamam delicious. Not so sweet. I never taste it. Yeah, this it. is the one I'm most interested because this is the one Falang oh. don't really eat. And you haven't been shy on the chili either. I haven't right? been shy. Make sure you get some fresh veg while you're eating uh, southern food, guys. Mm. Okay. I don't even know what I'm. What is this? So this is dried pakua. Uh, uh, so mm. sort of pan dried pan roasted fish, basically. But it's all, I think it's dried fish already. Mm. Yeah, very, very delicious. Aloy mac. Funky, really. right? Not aloy mac. Roy jang hu. Roy jang hu. Roy jang hu. What's that mean? Is that? Delicious in the south. 
Oh, really? 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 We're gonna go to Patong and we're gonna go to Andamanda Water Park. This is actually why we flew down. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, from Chiang Mai. We're kind of based in Chiang Mai. It's a big road trip coming up as well for uh, the channel uh, Chai Travel. It's Brilliant. Yeah. All right, so That's get it. on it, guys. Get following. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Yeah, so look, as Chai said in his video, this is an absolute must if you're heading down to Phuket Sound. You cannot miss Arun restaurant absolutely unbelievable food guys my favorite would have to be i'll probably say the liver you know the liver was really really good um kao yama light i uh, love the uh the masa mam nua the beef masa mam was unbelievable i was expecting everything to be super sweet in here i did actually come in here once before with paddy uh, but we just had some roti so we didn't actually try the curries and stuff Definitely, definitely, definitely get yourselves down here come rain or shine. And as I said, it has not stopped raining since we got here. Um, do you know what, guys? I just realized I haven't actually drunk any of the tea yet, have I? Do you know what? Even that's not sweet. That's perfect. That is exactly how I would order a chai yin. There, That is like if you said like to a normal like seller on the street, that is how it's how it would come. Delicious. Bye-bye.